right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakradash, the Mahans, unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great example to us younger brothers. And peace and blessing, salutation, and hope for luck out there pushing this word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Pushing to get up out of here, shout warm to the whole collect the believers, the listeners who may have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you, how about Shimao Shai? What I want to get into this morning, you know, is favor in high places. Okay, favor in high places, you know, and it was a uh, lesson inspired, you know, by, you know, the after camp lesson, you know, of the main camp in New York, the apostles and the elders and the rest of the brothers, you know, doing their after camp lesson. And um, this precept was brought out in the book of Daniel, the 10th chapter, you know, and it speaks about how Daniel is beloved, which we're going to read it. And in these times, you know, this is the time, you know, that we're going to see the benefits of having favor in high places. You know, the people that have favor in this world, you know, clout status, you know, riches, you know, uh, pretty much idols and icons, you know, of this society. All right. They're. <clears throat> finna be in scrapes. They finna be in torments. Okay? But the men whom the Lord, you know, has... Uh, the, the men, you know, that the Lord has predestined to have favor on the believers. You know, men, women, and children whom the Lord has predestined to have favor on. You know, it's gonna show in this day. Okay? It's gonna show in the times to come. So I want to get this in the book of Daniel chapter 10 verse 10. And it says, and behold, a hand touched me, which set me up, up, up upon my knees and upon the palms of my hand. All right. And this is Daniel being comforted. Okay. As he's having these different visions and certain vision he's having is making him sick and faint. Okay. But the uh, angel of the Lord, all right, is visiting Daniel. Okay. And this angel in this, in this text is Yahweh Shai. Okay. And says, and he said unto unto me, O Daniel, O man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee, and stand upright, for unto thee am I sent. And when I have spoken, and when he has spoken these words unto me, I stood trembling. Now, I want to get this word beloved, okay? He called Daniel greatly beloved okay and this is a representation of the elect the elect are greatly beloved all right the house of david da wa da which that goes into beloved and, you know king david's name means beloved okay all right and this word here is um hamad okay hamad which means to desire to take pleasure in to delight in okay to desire to delight greatly, to desire greatly, okay? So the Lord, all right, has a pleasure and a delight, you know, in those that are His, you know? And this is what we're hoping to be, and it, we're going to reap the benefits, okay, of being beloved of Yahweh Bashim al Shai in the time of chaos and for eternity, man. Okay, leading into eternity, because we know it's going to get chaotic before, okay, you know, we're delivered and changed. Okay? But the Lord, you know, he considered Daniel what his beloved, man. He considers all the elect his beloved. You know? And that's the status we want, man. Beloved of Yahweh by Shema al Shah. The hell <laughs> with being liked of this world. Okay? That's why Yahweh Shah made this statement in um in the book of Luke. Okay, because we're going to be outcast and hated in this society, but if we're beloved of the Lord, we good. We untouchable, man. All right. This is Luke 16 and um and 15. And he said unto them, you are they which justify yourselves before men. But the most I know of your hearts. For that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of the most high. Okay. So we're not here to be esteemed amongst men. That's why we're not here for gimmicks. Okay, we're not here to heap up a big following. You know, we're not we're not here, all right, to, to appease, you know, uh, Jake, you know. 
these worldly friendly doctrines that the, the, the Israelites got, these world friendly, you know, congregations, okay, they pretty much watered down the doctrine to be liked by men, to appease the men, okay, uh, to, to water down the doctrine to, to be liked and, 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 you know, to soothe the emotions of women. Nah, man, we're not here for that, man, okay. We don't mind being hated by this society, man, because the scriptures are written that we're going to be hated. But guess what? The things that are highly esteemed, that people, you know, um, cheer on in this society, the scriptures say, Yahweh Shai says, it's an abomination in the sight of the Most High, man. Okay? So we're worried about being pleasing to our power, man. Being beloved of our power, man. Okay? And the elect going to come in that same mindset. All right, now when you go here to Wisdom of Solomon chapter three, verse one, it said, "But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High, and there shall no torment touch them. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, and their departure is taken for misery, and they're going from us to be utter destruction. But they are in peace, yeah, because you know, as we, when we're persecuted for this word." You know, brother, you know, that Esau going to come, come uh, you know, he's going to come for brothers. Some brothers going to be carried off. Some brothers even have to be martyrs, man. You know, some believers have to be martyrs for this word. And from the outside looking in, it's like, man, they they, they, they going through all that based off this, some God they supposed to believe, based on some religion. They doing all that for their religion. They, you know, so on the outside looking in, it's going to look uh, uh, foolish. But it's supposed to. Okay, to those that are on the outside looking in, because they don't understand the inner workings of what's going on. Okay, it said, For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality, man. Okay, because if we die for your house shot, we're going to be raised up when he comes back as immortals, man. So, yeah, it looked like the loss, it looked like a loss to the corner, man, but in the spirit, it's a win. Because if we'll be loved, of Yahweh by Shema Oshai. Everything's a win for us, man. Even in death. Okay? And it says, And having been chast and, and having been a little chastened, they shall be greatly rewarded. For the most I proved them and found them worthy for itself. Okay? So this is our time of being proved, all right, before the reward. You know, he has to prove his beloved before the reward. You know? And that eternal rank and status that we're going to have in the kingdom under Yahweh Shai, okay, that's going to be the eternal, uh, incorruptible reward, man. You know, the different access we're going to have in the kingdom that every every other Israelite is not going to have. You know? But that the, the house of David, that be loved, that elect, okay, it is, it's, it's going to be an eternal status, all right? That, that, that's going to be perpetual in the kingdom. Okay? And it says, and in the time, um, or oh, I started six, yeah, was in Solomon 3 and 6. It says, as gold in the furnace hath he tried them and received them as burnt offerings. And in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people. And their Lord shall reign forever. Yeah, so this is well, after we come back. After we uh, 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 come down from those chariots, man. We're going to have dominion over the nations under Yahweh Shai. You see? The, 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 the remnant is going to have their favor. Okay? It's, it's going to be great favor, man. All the way up until the time of deliverance and to eternity, man. Okay, we're coming to a time of eternal favor, man. We got a chastening, you know, we got a test, a trial that we have to go through. Okay, it says after a little chastening, it should be greatly rewarded, man. Okay, so we have to go through the uncomforts and the outcasts of being believers in this wicked society. Okay, but then there's a great reward, an eternal reward, man. Okay. And the favor of the Lord is going, to, is going to be eternally upon his people, beginning with the elect, man. Okay? That's why even, in fact, let's go here, then we'll finish that. 
This is um Second Corinthians four. Second Corinthians four and um seventeen said for our light affliction, which is but for a moment working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Okay? An exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Okay? It's going to far outweigh the chastening that we go through. You know? The glory. The, you know, the, 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 the glory, the spiritual powers being upgraded to immortals, those new bodies. Okay? Rulership, dominion, the wisdom, you know? <laughs> There's a complete upgrade, man. It's going to be a completely, all right, uh, different glory than anything that, that we can imagine, man. It said, while we look not at the things which are seen, but the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Okay? So this current, you know, situation, this current, you know, condition of the earth is temporal. Okay? The people that's in rulership, you know, you look at the presidents, the prime ministers, and then you have the elites and, you know, the big tech guys that, that, are, that you know, they really run this system. And we look at these things, you know, but these are temporal. But the immortal, okay, nation of Israel, that's going to be the, the permanent. That's going to be the eternal under Yahweh Shah. And we, we haven't seen it yet, but we know it's to come. That's the, the purpose of hope and faith, okay? So going back here to Wisdom of Solomon 3 and, um, and, and, and 8, it says, they shall judge the nations that have dominion over the people, and their Lord shall reign forever. That they put their trust, it said, they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him, for grace and mercy is to his saints, and he have care for his elect. Okay? For grace and mercy is to his saints, and he have care for his elect, man. That favor. So he has a care for his elect. You know, he has a delight, all right, within his elect. You know, and it's been like that from the beginning. That's why you go here. Let's get that in. And um, Proverbs 8. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 8. All right, and on uh, 30. Now, this is how Shai speaking on, you know, his beginning, you know, with the Heavenly Father. Okay? This is Proverbs 8 and 30. It says, Then I was by him as one brought up with him, and I was daily his delight. So, how Shai was daily the delight of the Heavenly Father. Rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in the habitable parts of his earth, and my delight were with the sons of men. Okay? So from the beginning, the Lord has always had a delight upon the elect. You know? The elect was always well beloved from the beginning. <laughs> you see? So let's go from there. All right. Now let's get this in the book of... Um, This in the book of Acts. All right, this is uh, chapter 19. All right, Acts 19. And I started in 11. Okay, Acts 19 and 11 says, And the Most High wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul, so that from his body um, were brought chiefs. All right, what? Uh, yeah, it says, So this is, yes, yeah, like. Acts 19, 11, and 12 again. It says, So that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons, and the disease departed from them, and the evil spirits went out of them. You know, so let's read in NLT. It said, When handkerchiefs or aprons that had merely touched his skin were placed on sick people, they were healed of their diseases, and evil spirits were expelled. So, 
aprons or handkerchiefs that had even touched Paul. That's how much virtue and power was coming off the apostles during this time. They was tapped in. The Lord, you know, had, had endowed them with power. Okay? It says, jump to verse 13. Okay? So any handkerchief or apron that touched Paul and they will go touch someone, they will use a handkerchief to go touch someone that had disease, they will be healed. Verse 13 said, Then certain of the vagabond Jews, exorcists, took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai, saying, We adjure you by Yahweh Shai on Paul preaching. So you had Jake, you know, trying to mimic, okay, what the apostle was doing in the name of Yahweh Shai. Okay? It says, And there were seven sons it said, uh, of Sceva, a Jew and a chief of the priests, which did so. All right, so yeah, Jake trying to imitate the apostles because the apostles were doing these things in the name or in the authority of Yahweh Shai. Okay, so you had Jake, they really didn't believe trying to imitate, man. Okay, and it says, And the evil spirit answered and said, Yahweh Shai, I know, and Paul, I know, but who are you? So the evil spirit spoke to them, to them Jake's and was like, Look, I know Yahweh Shai. I know Paul, but who are you? Showing you that the beloved, all right, are known of the Father, are known of Yahweh Shai. Okay? Because why? The, the, the evil spirits, okay? They come from the spiritual realm. So they know the conversation, they hear the conversations that are being, being held. Okay? They understand, you know, what spirits are what. <laughs> okay so so we want our name to be ringing in the spiritual realm in a good way man not in a bad way man okay or not to be known you see just left out there man especially in these times <laughs> okay so um reading again it says in this uh verse 16 it says and the man in whom the evil spirit was left on, le leapt on them, well, leaped on them, and overcame them, and prevailed against them, so they fled out of the house naked and wounded, so those, the, you know, demons jumped on them jakes, okay, that was imitating the apostles, all right, pretty much beat them out of their clothes, man, okay, and see, we come to the times where if you're not covered, you know, and the Lord doesn't have a delight in you, you know, hey, a lot of our people just going to be left out there, man. And subjugated to the torments of the times to come. Okay? Just going to be subjugated to those torments, man. So let's get this. With those that have favor, all right, are going to be good, man. <laughs> you see? Now let's get this in the book of Psalms. Okay, because there's plenty of benefits of being known. See, we're gonna we're gonna see. The earth is gonna see the benefits of being of having favor on high. And why scripture say, then shall be known who are my chosen. Because their favor that's gonna be shown openly, man. Okay? Then you're gonna know who's not chosen by the judgment that the Lord is opening up, man. This is Psalm 91 and 9 says, Because thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. And see, we make the Lord our habitation by dwelling within his obedience, man. Dwelling within faith, man. Dwelling within humility and discipline, man. That's making the most high our habitation, man. Okay? This is where we reside. Okay? There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. Let's read that in NLT. Psalm 91 and 11. For he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. They shall bear thee up in their hands. Least thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder and the young lion and the dragon. Shalt thou trample under feet. Okay. Hey, favor man. Protection. A standard going to be lifted, man. Okay? 
<laughs> this is what's to come. This is you know those that, that are in favor, the beloved. Okay, and it says because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he have known my name. This is in his authority, man. Okay, not just to know, you know, to 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 have you know to be able to verbalize the name, but to trust in those names, man. Okay. To understand the rank that comes with the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. Okay? He said, He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Okay? And that's coming to the beloved. Okay? Those that, 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 that the Lord has a pleasure in, man. Okay? That's why we want to focus on Doing the things that are pleasing to our power. Alright? Oh, what's that what it says in the Baruch, the fourth chapter? Oh, Israel, happy art thee. Because the things that are pleasing unto, alright, the Most High made known unto us, man. And we want to continue to be the, the pleasure, alright, and be pleasing in the sight of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. So he can delight in us, man. You know? We want to be that beloved. So, Lord willing. You brothers, all right, and you sisters will edify till next time I say Shalom. Quam Yasha Allah, Baba, Baba, DTA, you soon, Shalom.